It's a little known fact. There's a bit of Joker inside us all. Come on, kiddo. Let your Joker out. Dear Katie, you cannot know how happy I am that you will get to see the park before we officially open to the public. You should know that all this you see around you comes from our talks in the hospital. Daddy was paying attention, and he used your drawings for inspiration. When I showed them to my friend, Dr. Quinzel, she said you were a very talented little girl, and that I was a very lucky father. Don't I know it? What happened to us, what happened to you, changed my life for the better. Even Dr. Quinzel says I'm much more alive and present since I gave up work to take care of you. Actually, come to think of it, she was the one who suggested I build this place for us. To inspire me, she introduced me to a strange man in a purple suit, who gave me a lot of unique ideas for the park. He calls himself Jack White. He's got a great laugh and sense of humor. I think you'd really like him. We can be grateful to Jack for referring us to Dr. Penelope Young, who did for you what traditional medicine couldn't. It's because of her special treatments that you're here today. I thank Jack endlessly for referring us, and even offered him a new wardrobe. But he told me he was quite satisfied with his wardrobe and didn't seem too pleased about the suggestion. I really hope I didn't offend him after all he's done for us.
wasn't so easy getting this place up and running. So inspectors nearly shut us down, but Jack somehow convinced them to change their minds. As a thank you gesture, I bought him a new purple suit, imported from Italy. But he said it was violet, and that he only wore purple on account that purple keeps him grounded. I guess your daddy doesn't know the difference between purple and violet. In any case, I have to get Jack something meaningful to thank him for all his help throughout this ordeal. Jack blamed me, and said I should never have taken her to Gotham General in the first place, but... But how was I to know? He told Dr. Young to triple the dosage of her alternative meds, but... That only seemed to make things worse. She died last week, and the pain is unbearable. Dr. Quinzel says it won't get better. She says the pain will just get worse and that there's no point in going on. She's right. She always is. I signed the park over to Jack, and uh, well, my only hope is that he does something inspiring with it. As for me, I'll, I'll be with Katie soon. These pills Jack gave me will make sure of that. Are supposed to be painless. <laughs> Everything is in a smile. <laughs>